video project pomodoro timer in this video we will learn about the pomodoro technique and make a pomodoro timer do you procrastinate a lot do you have a lot of studying to do but can't concentrate in this video we will solve such time and focus related challenges by creating a special timer with the bbc microbit that can double your productivity this video is the culmination of all the learning outcomes of previous videos in this section a project is always the best way to reinforce what we have learned the pomodoro technique is a time management system that encourages people to work more productively in this method you break your work day into 25 minute chunks separated by 5 minute breaks these intervals are referred to as pomodoros after four pomodoros you take a longer break of 15 to 20 minutes so why do you think this technique works any guesses it is all connected to the way humans think it works because the timer creates a sense of urgency instead of feeling like you have endless time in a day to get things done you become conscious that you only have 25 minutes to make progress on the task at hand this prevents us from squandering those precious work hours on distractions moreover the forced breaks help to cure the burnt out feeling we experience on doing our work for a long time if you want to know more about the effectiveness of this technique check out the links in the resources section based on this technique let us make a pomodoro timer with the bbc microbit we are going to create a clock animation in which the led matrix will show the longer hand moving it will be just like the fish animation we did in our earlier video the steps we will follow to do this project are as follows make a clock animation showing the long hand moving to the 25 minute position and pauses in between so that animations will come in the right time on pressing button a the clock animation should start add messages to convey breaks and working time rectify minor bugs after each steps we will check the simulator to see the changes just think how much time we will waste if the block editor didn't have a simulator we would have to upload over and over again each time we make a change in the code so the simulator is your best friend start a new project in the block editor and name it as pomodoro timer let us create an animation of a ticking clock first look at the watch on your wrist now compare it with the led matrix on the bbc microbit you see the problem right the bbc microbit can only represent 5 minute increments of time in total we need 6 images to form the animation showing 25 minutes so let us snap together six set leds blocks one after the other inside the forever block now go into each of the set leds blocks and recreate the clock states for 25 minutes like shown in the video next run the simulator and see the output now we are going to introduce you to a new block called pause this block is used to create a delay between events so how do you set the time for delay if you click on the 100 inside this block you can see several options like 100 milliseconds 200 milliseconds 500 milliseconds 1 second and 2 second 1000 milliseconds is equal to 1 second so 500 millisecond is just half a second you get the idea right so for our purpose each transition of image requires 5 minutes of delay which means 5 multiplied by 60 multiplied by 1000 which amounts to 300000 you can type this value in the pause block just so that we don't have to waste 25 minutes to find out whether our code is working or not for now we will set the pause time as 1 second duplicate the same block and add the appropriate image now run the simulator to view your output. A timer should only start when we require it. So we need to add an input control via push button. 
as you are already familiar with event-based action. It will be easy for you to do this. Inside on button A pressed module, move all the animation along with pauses from forever loop. Test it in the simulator while pressing button A. The bare bones of the project is now finished. Now we need to add some user interface elements like messages. On start, let us point the user to button A. For that, we are going to add a set LEDs block inside on start block. Now draw a pattern of arrow pointing to the button A. Now before the animation begins, we are going to add the show string block with the start working message. Similarly, at the end add the message. Take a 5 minute break. Let us run the final code in the simulator. It's working great. Now we can upload it to the microbit board. Wait a minute. There is a bug or error in the animation. Did you spot it? When the take a 5 minute break message starts, we can see the last clock animation is scrolling. We don't want this. We can fix this bug by just adding a clear screen block before the take a 5 minute break message. Now let us upload the program to our micro bit. You can see that it works just as intended. Now we need to tweak the program by changing the pause time from 500 milliseconds to 300,000 milliseconds to make it align with real world time. Please upload the code again after making this change. Congratulations on finishing your first project. You can connect a battery to make it portable so that you can take it to your study room or office. Summary in this video, we covered the Pomodoro technique and built a Pomodoro timer project. In the next video, we will learn how to use an LED as a light sensor and build a light detector.